What am I drinking? Okay, so this is a It's really good. I've been working on this recipe all morning and I'm super excited to share this with you in this video. Um, but I'm also very tired of drinking because I've had like how many this morning and I'm a little bit done. Let's talk about this video. So Valentine's Day is coming right up in like what, a week? And my husband and I don't get to go out on a date on Valentine's Day because the fire department that my husband is a part of planned a function on Valentine's Day evening. Anyway. And so, we are gonna celebrate Valentine's Day a little bit early this year. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna make a fun meal, we're gonna have a fun date night. Going out on a date is always fun, but like it's also more work. Like you have to get a babysitter lined up, my baby's always up past his bedtime. I typically miss him a lot when we're on a date. So both of us kind of just prefer having our date nights at home right now. And our baby goes to bed between 6.30 and 7 o'clock every night. So after he goes to bed, we always have plenty of time to have our own little date night, which typically we'll like watch a show, put a puzzle together, bake something together. Tonight, I'm gonna plan on dinner being after Carolyn goes to bed so we can just have a very relaxing, quiet evening. Um, for a date night and I'm very excited. So I know a lot of women would be like, not super excited if they had to like cook their own Valentine's Day date, dinner, whatever. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Not saying I don't enjoy when my husband lines up a babysitter and just like takes me out to a restaurant. I genuinely enjoy that, but I think this is gonna be really fun. So like once a year, I'll make chocolate covered strawberries and that's always Valentine's Day, obviously, because I'm like basic. Ooh, perfect. So I'm gonna share a quick tip with you for dipping strawberries in chocolate, which I'm sure you already know this. So I use a cup and I will typically use like a coffee mug um, just because they're more shallow. You don't have to like dip your hand in a whole like glass anyways. Then it's easier to like dip the strawberry because like if I would try to dip the strawberry in this big bowl, I would have to like roll it and like it just, it looks better if you use a cup. You don't have to, that's just what I do. I always scrape off some of that extra. I just made a few of them because it's literally just me and Daryl and we are not gonna eat more than five of these strawberries. So I'm gonna set the table um, right now and that way this afternoon all I have to worry about is like making the food and I'll already have the table ready to go. little bit of a predicament. So when Daryl and I go out to eat at a restaurant, ever since like our first date ever, we have always sat on like the same side of the table or the same side of the booth. It's just the way we've always done it. We're both very tiny people, so we easily fit on one side of the booth. I don't know why, we just have always done dates that way. Um, not like there's anything wrong with sitting across the table from each other, but we just prefer to sit beside each other. Anyway, so I'm trying to decide, should I set the table where we're sitting on opposite ends of the table? So we have to like look at each other? Or should I set the table so we can like sit beside each other? I think it's gonna be kind of cramped if I try to set the table to where we're like sitting beside each other. But I'm gonna mess around with a couple different ideas that I have.
Okay, confession, there are no recipes for what I'm making. I make all of these recipes from scratch and by memory. Um, but I'm making lasagna for dinner. It's one of our favorite um, meals. <laughs> and um, I just start by browning some meat. Um, and then I just add some like different seasonings, some onions, garlic, all that good stuff. And I will add that recipe in the description box. Um, and then I just whipped up some garlic bread. And again, I will add that recipe to the description box. But disclaimer, it's completely a mm, homemade recipe. Like it's my recipe. Like I just throw random things together. We love it, but I can't guarantee that you will love it. <laughs> um, and then I just threw together a really quick salad. Um, Daryl's very easy to please in the salad department. And for our drink, I made raspberry peach lemonade spritzers. And um, I will add all of the directions and amounts and everything like that, the how-to. <laughs> um, all the directions will be in the description box, so make sure you check that out for this recipe. Again, disclaimer, it's completely homemade. Okay, so I'm just about ready to put the lasagna together and I'm not baking it yet. I'll probably wait till a little closer to time to eat before I put it in the oven, but I wanna get it all ready. That way I know I can just pop it in the oven and be ready to go. I have my lasagna and my sauce and then I also have Parmesan cheese and freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Now typically I would use ricotta cheese um, as well, but of course the grocery store was out. Just my luck. Um, a lot of people would use cottage cheese, but neither my husband or I care for cottage cheese. So I just skip that all together and use mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. Okay, and then for the lasagna, I just do the basic layers, obviously. We've all made lasagna before, um, but I did wanna say I like to use the pre-cooked pasta over the oven-ready pasta. Just for like my own peace of mind, I don't have to worry about, is my pasta cooked all the way? <laughs> So far, I have not used a single recipe, and um, for the green beans, it's no different. I don't really have a recipe for this, um, but it's very simple. I'm just gonna roast some green beans. Um, I'm going to add some bacon chunks, um, which I have not actually tried, so <laughs> I don't know why I film things like when I try them for the first time, because it could potentially be a failure, but you know, I guess that's the fun of YouTube. Basically, just to break down what I'm kind of gonna do for the green beans, I'm going to lay them out here on the tray. I'm gonna add some olive oil, probably some um, seasonings, like some garlic salt, salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna add my chunks of bacon. So we're gonna see how that turns out. I'm sure it'll be good, right? It's bacon and green beans, you can't go wrong. So my husband is a very easy person to please when it comes to dessert. I asked him what he wanted for dessert for our Valentine's Day date. And he wanted boxed brownies with strawberries and ice cream and whipped cream. And so obviously I'm not gonna complain because that's easy. <laughs> um, but I hope you're not disappointed. That's what we're having. And yeah, it's I'm excited because it's very simple and easy, but um, I know it's kind of underwhelming for this video, but oh well. It's gonna taste good and it is literally his favorite dessert ever, so I guess that's the point, right? Mm -hmm. 